Hello, it's Ann. How's everybody? Yeah, I came pretty close to forgetting to film the intro. Yeah, I did. I've taken my eyelashes off. Sorry, I had already started doing something and then I went, wait a minute, before I take the rest of this makeup off, maybe I ought to actually do my intro. So, yeah, see the rest of it's still there, just the big eyelashes are gone. Anyway, the palette I'm going to be working with is called the Bad Habit Aura Palette. Okay? Okay. Now, when Shop Hush started having its little 60% off of everything sale that was already marked down whether it was whether that made it like just a couple of bucks or not i went and picked out a couple of palettes two from bad habit and one from face candy and i've been playing with them but this is the the first real bid i've done with this now it's got a really interesting color story and i'm trying to show you the the colors without getting too crazy and blinding you with the mirror now i only used a few colors out of this for this particular video i used that yellowy green or greeny yellow and that one is called Energy. And then we have Ecstasy, that dark shimmer green down at the bottom. It's like a dark forest green. And then there's Soul, which is that gold in the middle there. And then in the corner and at the brown bone, we have Phenomenon, which is this white gold up in the top. I I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy the resulting look. And yeah, I took off the original lipstick as well that I did in the towards the end of the video because in my home lighting it was just a little weird. Plus, I went and ate dinner and like yeah, I kind of messed it up with dinner, so I just, I picked up a different color and slapped it on just to have something on my mouth. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. See you in a minute. Hello, everybody. It's Anne. I'm back, and... Alrighty, if I didn't show you all this in the intro, I'll probably show it to you again, because I never know, you know, I might forget to do the intro. Anyway, what I'm working with is the Bad Habit Aura Palette. I picked this up um, when everything went nutsy sale on Shop Hush. And that is the color story. I think it's very pretty. I think it's also very intense. And I'm hoping I can make this eye look like this eye by the time I'm done with this. Otherwise, it's going to be kind of foolish looking. Anyhow, starting with my Ruby Kiss primer. I've already done my eyebrows. 
I've got some tinted moisturizer on. I've got some a little blush and a little contour and a little bronzer and it's all cream stuff. And yes, I know some of you just shriek and run when somebody suggests using cream products but i'm having fun playing with them seeing what i can manage to do with it and it's like why not i'll give it a shot we'll see how it goes anyway yes i cheated i've got one eye already done since according to some of the um subscriber question tags that are going around people don't want necessarily really long videos and if i do both eyes it's minimum a half an hour it could be 45 minutes depending on how chatty i get in the middle of it if i do whole face oh yeah you know putting everything on it's a good hour a good hour anyway just stuck the base on and this is actually a very simple look I don't have that many colors in it yes I got adventurous and stuck some lashes on no I will not be showing you how to put the lashes on because I am having a rough week with my hand shaking so I will do my cussing off camera while my hand shake and I try to put the other set of lashes on Anyway, the first color that I am using is this one called Energy. Now, it looks yellow depending on which way you're looking at it and what the lighting is. It looks yellow or it looks kind of a pale lime green. Now, when I put it on my eyes, when I put it on this one earlier, it was looking more green. And then when I put the other green on, it really picked it up. But I just basically started by laying down this shade in kind of an arc in that upper area that I normally put color in to simulate having a higher crease line because of my hooded eyes because if I put it down here and I open my eyes you don't get to see it so I put it up it leaves me less room closer to the eyebrow for things like leaving a fashionable blank spot but it keeps that color from getting completely eaten up by the hooded area of my eye. Now, I'm going to pick up, there's a dark green shimmer in here that's called Ecstasy. This one right here. This one right here. It's very pretty. And what I'm going to go into the inner portion of the lid with is this one called Soul, which is a really nice gold shade. Give this little spritz because I tried putting it on dry originally on this side and it just didn't want to it was patchy it was kind of dusty and I said no that's not looking pretty so I spritzed it and it looked much better very quickly now if that first color looked kind of more yellow when I first put it down 
I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on camera or not, but it's starting not just where I've laid the darker green over, but where it's just next to it, that shade is starting to look more green because it's picking up the green from the ecstasy that I'm putting down on the lid now. Okay, let's try and get this to kind of look like the other side just a little bit. Give this a little more of a spritz. Spritz. Now that yellowy green is one of the mattes in here. And everything else I'm using is one of the shimmers. Now I will probably be doing a few other looks with this palette and the Amazonian palette that I picked up that's also from Bad Habit that I picked up on my small shopping spree when everything in the world is 60% off. It got, got me a chance to pick up some interesting palettes without breaking the bank. Okay, Shop Hush is known for selling products that are considered dupes. I get that. I know all about it. The thing with Bad Habit and Face Candy, which is the other one that I picked up, or the other company I picked up from, through Shop Hush, is they don't really jump up in the faces of the big name to go, Nanny Boo Boo, we stole your shit. Pardon my French. They didn't jump up and, and just like rub it right in their face, kind of like, you know, copycat cosmetics and duped cosmetics and some of the others that just jump up and go, yes, this is a dupe for. Okay, I'm going to put that gold right in here and carry it up just a little bit into that pale green and then carry it over here to meet up with the dark green and kind of brush some over the dark green a little bit and pick up that brush with the dark green and go back the other way just a little bit so that we get that kind of diffused blend right there now I'm not going to tell you to go out and buy dupes however with my budget the way it is I would not have been buying the big name anyway I don't have that kind of money I just don't. So, the big names are not losing a customer. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm just going after colors that I want to use. And I don't tell people to go run right out and buy this stuff. Matter of fact, I tell people to go through and look at their, their collection already and make sure they don't already have some that's close enough to these colors to do this if they want to, you know, duplicate it or find other colors that they think will work and do the same basic technique. It's just that way. 
Now, believe it or not, I'm pretty close to done. Because I didn't do a whole lot of fussing with this. I really didn't. I'm taking Phenomenon, which is kind of a pale white gold, and putting it in the inside corner. And then... And then... I'm going to run a little bit of this same soul gold right along the underside here. And a tiny little bit of the ecstasy under this side. And I know about now you're going, but Annie, what's going on with that other color that's in your waterline? Wait for it. I'm going to show you. Now I've got another little teeny tiny brush. I have several little teeny tiny brushes that are fun. Okay. Now, what I've got is called Teal Tees. It's a cream liner from ELF. Now, let me turn this right side up. ELF. No, I am not sponsored. No, I didn't get anything in PR. The only PR I've ever gotten is the Apto spray that I use with Naked Skin First and then show everybody how much better my skin looks after. That's my only PR. Now, this is a fairly thick line that I'm doing only because my hands are kind of shaky so I can't necessarily do a real fine line currently. I think I mentioned this in the last video that I'm having some issues with small fine motor control currently because that's just the way my life rolls. It just is the way my life rolls. Do, 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 do. Now, there. There's the upper line. And then I pick up a little more of this lovely stuff. And I come right on down here into the water line with it. And let me tell you, I've had the other waterline done for a fair bit of time already. And it's holding up really nicely so far. No, I haven't tried this before. Now, with the upper lashes, I'm only going a little bitty ways. See, just like that. Just a little bit to fill in that corner a little more. Put this little bit away because it only takes a couple of little dabs of this stuff. It's great. A few little dabs and off you go. Alrighty. So, 
Anyway, I'm going to put the base coat of mascara on. Because that's what I'm supposed to do. So we now have little puppies walking around munching on their little treats. And going yumma yumma yumma. Now I don't do things in precisely the same order that anyone else does. I put my mascara on when I feel like it. Now, in case you haven't noticed, I have not done a lot of cleanup around the edges of this makeup because it really doesn't fall out much. Even though the, the green-yellow matte is a little dusty, it really just doesn't fall out much. Just polish that back up a little bit with a little more and drag that green yellow down across the top of the green shadow below. Try to pull this out just a little bit more so that I've got a closer shape match to the other side. I think I'm pretty close. And then, like the interior of the eye corner, I'm going to use that color, that whitey gold that was in the top corner called Phenomenon and just kind of sketch it in along the brow line as kind of an almost there. Alrighty. I'm going to slide off of here for a few minutes, try and get this other eyelash stuck on. And then I will be back and we will figure out what's going on my mouth. We will see what kind of lippy we're going to get. Be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Managed to get both eyelashes in place. Got the makeup application pretty close to perfectly even we're never perfect well there's also the other thing that my eyes do not droop equally they do not hood equally so you know you kind of got to work with what you got anyway now time to figure out what i am going to do for a lip now with bold eyes the makeup police will tell you you want a real not so much a statement lipstick the makeup police can step off if i'm gonna bold lip to go with a bold eye yeah i'm just liable to do it whether they like it or not anyway I'm trying to decide. I don't think a red would be good. I'm thinking about coral. I've got an actual metallic goldy kind of color. I've got some really interesting looking colors in the liquid lips that I picked up from AOA Studio. And I'm going, if I go with one of the fairly nude versions from there, I can get a little nuts with some of the toppers that I currently have. Because I've got this one that's got kind of greens and blues. 
it's of course called mermaid since it's greens and blues but it's it's the diamond lip gloss from aoa studio no i am not sponsored by aoa studio wonderful though they are they don't know me unless i'm making an order so because i don't think any of like the berry would not do it uh-uh uh-uh no let's see what am i going to do uh, hmm this and that topper could be interesting this is the AOA liquid lip better known as wonder matte in the color fleek I'm still trying it's like I know that that's one of the words that's running around in the queen community I am still trying to figure out where the hell they came up with that it's like all right who came up with that and how did it get adopted the main thing with fleek is it's nearly my skin color currently so without a topper on it you're not going to see a whole lot of lip Now, I really like the AOA Studio formula. I've had things like the Liquid Cat Suit by Wet n Wild in the metallic is an evil thing, according to my mouth. My lips get so just sucked dry with the metallics. This formula is comfortable as hell. And you don't really, and I'm doing it again. I must be in a mood today because I am just cussing up a storm even when I'm not supposed to. This is not my normal approach to doing a video. I usually leave the sailor talk out the back door. It's good practice for being around my grandkids is being on the video. But the formula is comfortable. It dries down fairly quick. You don't get a lot of sticky stuff going on. It doesn't really smear. The only one of those that I've had any problem with at all is this one. And it's the shade is Doll. D-O-L-L, -L, as in My Little Dolly. This one, for some reason, this particular tube does not behave like the other liquids that I've been getting from AOA Studio, this one stays a little too wet. Which is really unfortunate because it's a really pretty color, but it, it doesn't really dry down right. The thing is, I've got like six of the AOA Studio liquid lips now, the Wonder Mats. And that's the only one that has been contrary since I've started wearing them and kind of collecting them. And it's like, if I only have one that's being that kind of contrary, it's a good formula. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of the mermaid lip gloss on now. Just to kind of give it a little bit of that green shine to it, since this is a blue and green. Okay, we are not looking at a big statement lip here, but we are looking at something that's at least reasonably coordinated with the eye look. At least in my opinion. <laughs> I don't have any green, green, green lip stuff currently. I've got some on my wish list, but, you know, this is supposed to be a low-buy kind of thing going on, so 
I'm not buying anything new anytime soon. But, yep, there we go. Finished look. What do you think? Leave a comment. Ask a question. Ask me more about this palette because there's a bunch more colors in this thing. Yes, I will be doing some more videos with this particular palette, but I'm not really good at doing the three looks in a single video thing because I just don't get them filmed quickly enough and they'd be kind of like scattered everywhere. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try doing something that I saw in Smoky Glow where she's, you know, taking a palette featuring, featuring it for about a week and So you get a little something different every day that there's a video for that week that's all from the same palette. So I like the idea. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. It makes me so very happy. If you want to see something in particular with this palette, I'll show you the colors again. If you want to see something in particular with it, let me know. If you want more information on how the formula works, ask me a question. Go ahead. Do I know as much as some of the other influencers? No. Nope. Do I really count myself an influencer? Nah. Just an enthusiast. Anyway, wherever you are in the world, I hope you've had either an excellent day or an excellent evening or are getting ready to and just remember I don't have bail money be good <laughs>